Would you like to know how to salvage the rest of the summer with your kids so it's a good summer? We got now till school starts. Listen and find out how. All right, welcome back. Hey, it's great to have you join us today. We have a special guest, as you can see, Ray Dean Halverson. Hi. Hey, Kevin, how are you? I'm fabulous. How are great. you? I'm doing really good. Good, good. She is also our, our children's director here at church. I thought, what a better person to answer this. I can't think of a better person to answer this than Ray Dean. Not only is she a mother of three growing boys, but also in charge of all the children's ministry here at the church. So what is the answer to that question? How can moms and parents get through? We're at that time in the summer where kids probably already done some stuff. They're kind of getting bored. You know, school isn't starting for a while yet. They probably weren't going to school in the spring. So now we're at this place where kids are bored. Mothers are frustrated. So what are some things that they can do? Well, first of all, um, we need to be careful about the words we use around our kids and turn those negative comments and um, sayings and just put a positive tone to them. Um, our kids hear and are seeing a lot of negative things, whether it's comments about masks or going back to school. And we just need to make sure that we are a positive light for our kids and um, let them see that there is good in things and that this world isn't as bad as some people may make it out to be. So what you're suggesting is maybe kids are getting bored because maybe they're getting a little frustrated, a little fearful even. They're hearing the adults in their in their life complaining about everything and stuff. And so, hey, lift their spirits by being positive. Correct. Don't be negative around our kids. Great. That's an excellent point. We can do that. Number two. Let your kids get out. Um, find another family or a couple families that you feel safe around and let your kids be around other kids. It's super duper important for their social, um, their social life and their development. development. And, um, you know, at church, we've got a great environment for them to be able to do that. We've got um, a great opportunity for kids to see other kids in a safe place um, and just be with other kids and be kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a church is a great place. They can be with others, have fun things to do, do it together. That's a, that's a great idea. Or other families that you know. Right. Get them together. Kids need to play with other kids. Great. And what's the final advice you have for us? My final advice is take time with each of your kids. Um, if you can do it every day, that's great. Um, if it's at the end of the night or in the morning, but just take time to spend with your kids one-on-one -on -one and get to know your kids. Um, see what made them happy during the day, what um, was exciting for them, things that they want to do. Um, it will help not only your kids emotionally, but it'll help your relationship with them. So uh, what you're saying is not all of your, if you have several children, they're not all the same. No. No, you need to get not. to know each one of them individually. Where are you at? How are you doing? What do you enjoy doing? That kind of thing. Yep. Great advice. Uh, there's your five-minute focus for this week to help your kids finish out the summer strong. 